Well, so guys, that was Pro today. Apple's released iOS 13 beta to developers today. Gave about 600 megabytes on my phone success. The build number is 17A5508M. And this did come, come over the air, so if you're wondering how to install the beta over the air, I'll leave the link to the beta profile in the description below, so really nice change. So I only found 11 changes in this update, so I'm going to show you got the top 11 changes I found today. So first one is, in the control center, the hearing aid icon has been redesigned, so on the right is beta 2, on the left is beta 1, so as you can see, they added slight, a little bit more detail in the hearing aid, so really cool. This next one is, on the iPad, the haptic touch menu has been fixed, so previously it would go on top of the icon without dimming the background, but now it does, so nice bug fix there. So it no longer obscures your icon when the screen is still bright, so they made it work properly, so really cool. And this next one is, when you pull down from the notification center, previously we enable your widgets, this would look, would like be up where it's not supposed to be, so Apple's now fixed it, so really nice change. So. This next one is, when you go to your widgets page, there's a brand new animation showing you how the pinning your widgets would work, see? So, really nice detailed description how this works, so, really cool. And this next one is, in the settings app, when you go to the keyboard, you get two new options, like slide on floating keyboard to type, and delete undo slide in the keyboard settings, so, really nice change. And this next one is in the screen recording here. I'm going to go back to my phone so I can show you this. For the screen recording, the display issue has been fixed. So previously, the microphone option and the description option will be out of place. But on beta 2, they have fixed it. So really nice change there as well. And the volume HUD has got a new design. So let me turn on my dark mode to show, to show you this. So and let me turn on my brightness here. So on beta 1, you'll see the HD is over here, but on beta 2, it's now up here, so right here, so really cool change. So it's no longer over here, they put it up here now, so really cool change. And this next one is, in the clock app, the edit button is now blue instead of orange. So here's beta 1, there's beta 2, so let me turn my brightness up. So as you can see, the, in the world clock settings and the alarms, the edit button is now blue. So really nice change. Sorry for the glare. I forgot my tripod today, so I'm going to have to use the alternative. So sorry for the glare. And this next one is, when you go to settings now, there's a new icon for sign in with your iPhone. You see, they slightly shrunken the top part of the head of the figure. So really cool. So beta 1, beta 2. So let me turn off my dark mode again to show you this. So, see beta 1 here, that you have like a, a large head for and a body there for the figure, but now they've shrunken that, so really cool change. So, that's pretty much it for this video. If I like the video, video give it a thumbs up in the video.